I've got a few things to say about ChatGPT, which has been a massive conversation across all aspects of society over the last few weeks, especially here in the United Kingdom, where everyone's had a chance to try it out. No, not everyone, actually. In fact, not most people at all. Very few people know about this or have ever tried ChatGPT. Even if you try to log in and become a user, there's such high demand, it's really hard to actually get into it. But I have tried it out on a few different things. And um, what's really interesting is the conversation it's starting about humanity and its future. When I say it's as if I'm kind of separate from it, but I hope to be there too. Now, in my mind, this conversation is split across two different perspectives. One, the population who thinks this is incredible, this is going to be the next step of human evolution. And two, those people that think that it's going to be the end of humanity, not just as we know it, but completely the progressive encroachment into our lives that leads ultimately to our redundancy. Everything we do will be replaced by the AI that can do it better, faster, whatever. And we've seen good reasons to think about that concern. We've seen how ChatGPT can do some of the things that we thought only we can do because we're humans and have some special quality, like write poetry or write code or anything that we do could potentially be done by chat GPT and of course its successors too which are going to be even more capable at doing many things so it's important that we do engage with that conversation about our future it's really crucial that technology always compels us to think about our value what is our utility what is our role within planet earth and indeed in constructing our own future it's clear that since technology has existed, which is you know, forever, um, it has led us to both change the sorts of things that we do. We no longer calculate complex numbers. We use calculators and other such things that do this. We no longer remember certain information because we can Google it. And we do this at highest levels of societal kind of complexity, whether it's you know, working as a doctor trying to figure out what the problem is or working as an artist trying to explore new forms of creativity so so that's not new it's something that we've always done to try to harness technology in a way that pushes us in a certain direction there of course are casualties that that emerge over that time there are things we don't do now that we don't have to do because the technology does it some of the things we want to be doing probably they'd be quite helpful for us only because the consequences the habits we form which may not be as healthy or as interesting so yeah pick up a book and read it rather than just read it on your mobile phone that's probably a really good idea make sure you write with pencils with pens on paper rather than just on a on a computer or on a mobile phone but some of the innovations just are liberating us and freeing us from the limitations of our corporeal sensibilities. I use a lot of uh, voice typing uh, tools to allow me to, to get words out onto a page because the barrier to do that either with typing or with pen and paper is just too great. So, so these can be liberating. And in fact, I think what will happen a lot with some of the stuff we use ChatGPT for, whether it's students trying to write their essays, is that it will actually lead us to engage with that content in a more meaningful way, potentially. And let's remember that one of the reasons why that's important is that actually some of the habits that have become established by those people who were concerned about either cheating or, or shortcutting the kind of creative or intellectual circuit are pretty poor you know I don't have the time to read huge amounts of scholarly work to inform my research so if I can find a way to if I can create a systematic review of the last 10 years of those papers that are far too too big in number to read well brilliant thank you very much and that may be also um, the, the kind of output that is worthy of publication in itself so I think these are helpful things and what that does for me is it saves me all the boring time in trying to figure out how to get all this information because let's remember 90 percent of our time in trying to do this work is in the administrative tasks of pulling it all together so we have to look at this optimistically and i think if you bring a kind of critical perspective to this area the consequences are actually really exciting and and valuable for humanity uh, yes, it will mean there will, be, there will be redundancies. You know, we don't individually bind books as people now in the 
or make paper as we did in the past we now have big industries that do a lot of this stuff for us and it transforms the sorts of things that we do but rather like growing plants or walking up mountains all of those things remain available to us you know there is no ai that can enrich our appreciation of nature in a way that we experience when reaching the summit of a mountain and seeing the view so there's so much about life that remains valuable so much about who we are what we do and why that matters that will remain intact we don't need to worry about our future we do need to worry about the systems that will change as a result of this technology and make sure that we manage the transition we also need to remember that those things that we do value the things that we think are special and perhaps unique to our capacity to do as a species which is a you know very few things actually um, they are also extended by the technology we type on computers we dictate through technology but we still can also write with pencils and paper and, and, and pens so so it's not that this means the end of the fu end of the future for us it means actually the beginning the the opportunity to redevelop our sense of humanity to think about what the next stage of evolution means for us and to try to hopefully free ourselves from the burden of trivia that often describes a significant part of our lives the shift is huge the consequences are massive but i'm confident that we will flourish at the end of this